let us discuss the synthesis of solar grade silicon solar grade silicon is synthesized by union carbide process we have two types of silicon one as metallurgical grade silicon other one as semiconductor grade silicon we cannot use either metallurgical grade silicon or semiconductor grade silicon for synthesis of pv cells or solar cells why because metallurgical grade silicon contains high level of impurities whereas semiconductor grade silicon contains very low level of impurities that is in ppb level so we need silicon with impurities which is in intermediate of metallurgical grade silicon and semiconductor grade silicon and such type of silicon is known as solar grade silicon here the impurity level is in between metallurgical grade silicon and semiconductor grade silicon the synthesis of solar grade silicon involves two steps the first step is manufacture of metallurgical grade silicon and second step is conversion of metallurgical grade silicon into solar grade silicon let us discuss this step by step first synthesis or production of metallurgical grade silicon we are going to take quartz in electrical arc furnace and heat it with carbon to high temperature when heated with high temperature we are going to obtain liquid silicon from the bottom of electric arc furnace so we are going to withdraw this or collect this liquid silicon continuously from the electric arc furnace so thus obtain liquid silicon contains high level of impurities so we're going to refine this so how do you refine let us see so f or this liquid silicon may contain aluminum or it may contain magnesium or it may contain calcium so this is precipitated by aluminum is precipitated as alumina magnesium is precipitated as magnesium oxide or if the liquid silicon contains if it contains calcium it is precipitated as calcium oxide and thus obtained silicon is free from aluminum magnesium and calcium thus obtained silicon is called as metallurgical grade silicon step 2 conversion of metallurgical grade silicon into solar grade silicon so as i told you earlier metallurgical grade silicon contains high level of impurities that is an ppm level now we suppose to convert the metallurgical grade silicon into solar grade silicon how this contains three steps step 1 synthesis of silane second step purification and decomposition of silane that is last step where silane is converted into solar grade silicon firstly let us see how to synthesize silane from metallurgical grade silicon thus obtained metallurgical grade silicon is treated with hcl at 300 degree celsius where we get tetrachloroxylane thus obtained tetrachloroxylane undergoes hydrogenation to obtain trichloroxylane that is one of the chlorine atom will be replaced by hydrogen thus obtained trichloroxylane will be passed into quaternary ion exchange resin columns where tet where trichloroxylane will be converted into silane so silane is obtained so we have silicon and hydrogen the so second step is purification so thus obtained silane in the previous step is purified by the process of distillation so we are going to distill silane all the impurities will remain and only the silane will vaporize last step is decomposition of silane so silane is decomposed by a process called as pyrolysis so what is pyrolysis pyrolysis is nothing but heating something to very high temperature where 
the covalent bond breaks and it will decompose. A compound will decompose and it will give two different elements. So here silane is made up of silicon and hydrogen. So it is heated to very high temperature where we get silicon. This silicon is called as solar grade silicon and hydrogen is evolved. Thus obtained solar grade silicon is further refined or it is further purified using zone defined technique and it can be used to synthesize PV cells or solar cells or photovoltaic cells. Thank you. Please like and share this video and do subscribe to the video resource YouTube channel.